Do not be afraid. Whenever there's a new invention, so powerful to fundamentally change things, people are afraid. When it comes to Bitcoin, the media and the ones in power, making it sounds like it's all just for crime, drugs, and activities from the dark net. But we are not the bad guys. We are early adapters. We are nerds and thinkers of how to make the world a better place. Yes, we are maybe a bit overexcited. We are maybe a bit crazy. But there are thousands of us, thousands. And Bitcoin exists more than 10 years now. So you do, you, do you really still believe that it's just a bubble? And only dealers of drugs, weapons, and porn take advantage of, advantage of it? And it all will disappear tomorrow? It's all illegal? No. We are actually the good guys. And it maybe sounds like a big surprise for you, but crypto and Bitcoin, this is a global revolution. A revolution which is creating a global community. It's changing the structures of privacy, democracy, and justice. It's bringing back the power to the people. And I'm going to tell you how to save your assets and the world with crypto. I'm talking about a technology. A technology with, which will change everything. We had this already in the past, a couple of times. Imagine electricity and the internet would be invented on the same day. So we were sitting in our houses with candles to have light, and we are firing our oven with wood to have it warm, and now we are jumping to till today. So something like this will happen in the future with crypto. Welcome to TED, welcome to the Aufbruch, so we call it takeoff in English. And I want you to not to be afraid. I want to excite you. And I want to help you to take advantage of the maybe biggest op opportunity in your life. And I want to walk you just quickly through my takeoffs because I had a couple takeoffs in my life. First one was just when I was growing up in the eastern part of Berlin. So I changed the sides right before the wall came down. That was a tremendous takeoff for me. And I, of course, could be afraid of everything what was ahead uh, in front of me because I started basically from scratch. But it changed my life. And I became a kind of employee of the real world. That took me to my next takeoff. Because in the year of 2000, right in the internet bubble, we started a company. And I, I couldn't be afraid more of starting a company, jumping in the cold water, as you can imagine, in that, during that times. But it again changed my life dramatically. And by, I would say, coincidence, we reinvented the advertising industry with a performance-based model. So we, we started together with two partners, company called Xanox. We grew it within 10 years from zero to 300 million US dollars in revenue. 
That, of course, gave me the opportunity for my next takeoff to become an inv investor. And every takeoff so far was, of course, a risk, but for me at least, it was a life changing win. So, over the 15 years, the last 15 years, I lived in Berlin, Shanghai, London, Silicon Valley, and now back in Berlin. I got involved in about 200 startups to support entrepreneurs who are changing the world. And since 2013, I'm a big believer and enthusiast for crypto and Bitcoin. So, what is this crypto about? Crypto is a technology, or let's start with the name. Crypto is ju just a short name for cryptocurrency or crypto cryptography. So, it is all based on mathematics. It is based on a technology called blockchain, a public ledger, which brings transparency, which brings tokens or coins. So these are all terms which get used in that, let's say, industry. And Bitcoin is the first use case of, of this crypto industry. It's based on mathematics. It's fully transparent. It's fully decentralized. And it's secure in a dem democratized way. So it's trustless, basically. I call it the magic last piece of, of a puzzle which connects all the dots. And we heard a lot, kind of, uh, uh, or many of these uh, uh, dots already today uh, and, and uh, other uh, speeches about Internet of Things, big data, machine learning, artificial intelligence, robots, any kind of processes and contracts. So I would call crypto kind of a new internet for machines. So I'm the only guy who is believing that? No, of course not. As I said, there are thousands. Here are some names you may have heard of or you know. And just want to point out three. Bill Gates, he thinks Bitcoin is better than any other currency on the world. Edward Snowden, he is a big supporter and believer in that technology. And he believes that only decentralization can help us to get to freedom. And Tim Draper, was, which is one of the most famous and successful venture capitalists in Silicon Valley, he believes that Bitcoin has a price of $250,000 in the year of 2022. So what are the takeoffs we can expect with crypto? And actually, I see three different fields. Current problems, things which are both us right now, today. Things which are global challenges so big that they are almost impossible to, to solve. And of course, last, the personal life. How will, that, will it influence our personal lives? And how can you deal with it? Or how to get prepared? Let's start with the current problems. Privacy is one of the issues we have in the media almost every day. Our data gets spied out, they get collected, they get stored, they get monetized, they get stolen, so without our will or without our permission. Trust. We have, of course, a big issue and problem with trust, because in the moment when money comes in, you don't know how to trust and not, and what is the motivation and incentive of someone behaving in a way you don't know. And last but not least, our financial systems, the chart you see, the, that's the US debt, or that's the, 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 the amount of, of dollars which get printed basically every day. So when you see that chart, you of course start questioning this system. And we can already feel there's an inflation which is not countable we can see already there are zero interest rates or even negative interest rates. And we have a big issue with corrupt corruptness all over the world. So how can crypto bring a new concept or help to these three issues or these problems? As I said, it's a technology which is changing 
some fundamental things. So for our privacy issues, there's an answer because everything on the blockchain is encrypted, it's secure, and you will be the owner of your own data in the future again. It's a piece of technology which can be implemented in almost every business, in every system, in, in every process. So we don't need to worry anymore about our, the privacy of our, our data because there's a technology solution for it. Trust. We don't need trust anymore in the future. That's a good news because now we can replace trust with software. Which, of course, will change many business models which today belong on to someone who is a trustee in the middle. So we can cut out basically every middleman in any process. And last but not least, our financial system. As money gets printed today, every day, without any limits, especially Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, they're fully transparent in the way of how many coins or how many tokens will exist in the future of this currency. So it is clear. We have clear rules and nobody can change them anymore. So let's take the global challenges, which are very big, where we have fears or we are not able with our current structure and our current global leaders to solve them. So I just want to point out one. These are the biggest uh, uh, um, challenges we see right now facing. And I just want to point out to one, the climate change. Because it's in the media, we are all engaged and involved and we hear about it every day. So, we had to wait for a little girl like Greta to build a global community of hundreds of millions of people to take care about climate change. The problem is, today, there is no structure, there is no global infrastructure to organize a project of this size with so many people in terms of voting, in terms of fundraising, in terms of execution. But with crypto, we will have this kind of infrastructure, even though Greta has no idea about it today, but someone has, has to tell her this. That's why actually I'm on stage here to give you a picture that we can solve basically all these global challenges in the future if we use the right technologies in this, in this situation using the blockchain. So, and the last point, it's our personal life. How will that affect our personal daily life when by 2030, artificial intelligence will almost obliterate 30% of all jobs. And by 2045, singularity is predicted, which means that basically all repetitive jobs become obs obsolete for us, and computers will take over and free us from working. It sounds crazy, of course, but if we are prepared for that and we are moving in that direction and the, the speed is getting faster and faster, we of course uh, have to ask ourselves what are the skills which we have to learn for, this t for these times. So what should I study today? I mean, we are exactly at the right place to uh, have this question. And I have my little son here with me today. He is 11 years old, and I can already see that he is starting to prepare for this kind of future because I have another son who is already a, a, a grown-up, and I can see if I compare myself, my, my, my big son and my, my, my little, little one, then I have this little story. When I was a child, I was climbing on trees. There was a forest around our place, and I was basically on every tree. My older son, 
He was playing computer games, climbing on a tree. He was never on a tree, but he played the games. And my little son, he's watching others playing a computer game, climbing on a tree. And he's paying to him. So there are platforms like Twitch, you may have heard about, where people get paid when they stream playing games or pretending to be a bus driver or doing any other daily jobs, just virtual, and others play, pay, pay for them. So, and of course my little son, when he thinks about his future, for him it's clear, his profession will probably become a YouTube, YouTuber or Fortnite, professional Fortnite player or just a streamer of something. And it's happening already today. So there are many people already make their living out of this kind of task. So the skills which are important in the future, we had that today already, of course are things which, which are very special. I would call them social skills in a way. It's critical thinking, it's communication, it's collaboration, and it's creativity. So we should make sure that our kids keep these four skills and even uh, uh, um, grow them for the future. So they basically will get paid for things we cannot imagine today. So the times of working as we know it in the past already are over. I mean, nobody is working on farms. I mean, most of us not anymore, is not working on farmland anymore, which was, of course, one of the biggest uh, 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 workplaces in the past. So this will change dram dramatically again, which will bring us to, of course, a new life experience. So if you don't have to work anymore, how will you spend your time? And so, again, I just want to make you excited about the future. And I think you can, you can live a life of your dreams. So you don't need to be afraid. Just join the good guys, embrace crypto, and save the world. Thank you.